Hello guys, this tutorial is going to talk about using a cutaway picture. So a great example for where you might want to use this is if you are interviewing somebody and as they're talking about a topic, you might want to go ahead and put some B-roll in. So the B-roll that you want to put in could be a picture or it could be a video. So for example, maybe you're interviewing a teacher and they're talking about what college they went to school at. Uh, maybe you want to then pull up a, a picture of that college or that, that college logo. Um, so it'll kind of break up the interview a little bit. And there's a really easy way to do this and it's called a cutaway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sample video up here and um, this is a sample video of um, like an archaeological site type dig. So say this is the video and instead of having the video just play and play and play, you want to add a visual in there. So let's say that I want to add a visual of George Washington. Um, and so while the video is playing, um, the audio will continue for the video, but I want to have this picture show up in the upper, or I want to have this picture show up in the screen and then go back to the, the interview. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this picture down of George Washington to the place that I want it on the video and you can move it around obviously. And I'm going to zoom in on this just a little bit so you can see this a little bit more. All right, so this is the picture and it automatically defaults to four seconds. You can make it as long as you want by stretching it out. So let's say we go about five, six seconds here. All right, so I'm going to select the picture and then up here on the top, as long as you have a picture over a video or another picture, you're going to have an option to select this one on the far left, um, which is called video overlay settings. And it's kind of like two little uh, squares on top of each other. When I click on that, you're going to have options over on the left, um, picture in picture, which we've talked about in another tutorial, a side by side or using the green screen. Um, the cutaway option is the one that we want to use today. So as long as you have cutaway selected, what's going to happen is when you play the video, it's going to automatically cut to that other picture. And then when this picture is done right here, it's going to jump back into the video. So if I'm going to go play here and we'll see what happens. So it's going to now cut to the video. I'm sorry, cut to the picture. And then it's going to cut back to the video once it's done. All right. So now notice that when we did that, um, it did move a little bit. So it's using the Ken Burns effect. So if you want to turn that off, you can go up here to the little crop tool. And one of your options up here, instead of the Ken Burns effect, is to just go fit. Now if you go fit, it just shows you the full size picture. It's not moving. It's not changing size. It's just there. Now if I wanted to use this picture, but I wanted to really focus on, say, Washington's eyes, I could go to crop to fill and maybe I want to just do his eyes here for some reason. Okay. So now if I go back, let's preview what we got here. And so now it's going to go to just to that. Now it's not going to move because it's crop to fit, but it is cropped there. Okay. So as long as you have this selected, you can change quite a few things up here. Um, I'm going to go back to fit up here. And then if you go over here to this tool again, which is the video overlay, you do have some options as far as um, whether or not you want to kind of make it, you know, shaded and stuff. I would keep it the way it is. Um, you could also do a fade though. So a fade, if we go back and watch it now, it's going to kind of fade in and out a little bit. So notice how the picture kind of faded in. And then as we get to the back, it's going to kind of fade out. So that's an option if you want to kind of play around with that a little bit. But as long as you have the picture selected that you're going to do the cutaway with, um, you can go ahead and change those things. Um, the reason why you'd want to use this um, during an interview, for example, is the other option would be to take this particular interview. And if you wanted to put a picture in there at this point, you could do like a slice. You could do a split clip where it would actually, you know, stop the video. Then you could insert the picture there and stuff. Um, that's going to take a long time for you to edit. It's a lot easier to put this cutaway in, keep your video intact on the bottom and not do this. And then all you can do is pop in the video or pop in the picture during the video. Um, and then you can go right back to the video. So super easy way to add B-roll. And uh, this is called the cutaway feature. Thanks.